Hi, my name is Jushan, and today I am going to get in a DeLorean and take you to the 14th century. The Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague, was one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. It swept through Europe in the 14th century, causing widespread death and devastation. According to the Max Planck Institute, the Black Death is believed to have originated in Central Asia, possibly in the region around China or Mongolia. It is thought to have been caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. We also think it could have started in the Lake Issyllium region. The disease spread through various means, including fleas that infested rats and could be transmitted to humans via flea bites. It also spread through droplets when an infected person coughed or sneezed. The Black Death is traditionally associated with the 14th century and its most well-documented outbreak occurred between 1346 and 1353. However, there were multiple outbreaks of the plague throughout history and it continued to affect the world for several centuries. The symptoms of the Black Death included chills, weakness, high fever, nausea, vomiting, joint pains, headaches, and the development of painful swollen lymph nodes called buboes. That is where the name bubonic came from. Other symptoms included pneumonia, an infection that inflames your lungs air sacs, septicemia, blood poisoning. The mortality rate of the Black Death was extremely high, with some estimates suggesting that it killed between 75 to 200 million people worldwide during the 14th century. Entire communities and families were wiped out in some cases. People in the 14th century had limited understanding of the causes of the plague and no effective treatments. As a result, various responses were tried, including potions with snake venom, quarantine measures, isolation of the sick, and public health regulations. It led to a severe labour shortage as a significant portion of the population died which in turn led to rising wages for labourers. There were also disruptions in trade, agriculture and daily life. The Black Death had a lasting impact on art and literature, leading to the themes of death and mortality in many works of the time. The Dance of Death motif for example, became popular in art during this period. The Black Death gradually declined in the following centuries due to a combination of factors, including improved hygiene practices, quarantine measures, and the evolution of the bacterium to a less severe form. Many believe one reason for the fall of the Black Death's reign of terror is the Great Fire of London. The Black Death left a lasting mark on European history, influencing social, economic and cultural developments for generations. It also contributed to changes in medical understanding and public health measures. I hope you enjoyed travelling to the 14th century. Bye!